Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today we get to uh, play around with this really awesome extreme quadcopter car. Um, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up, and we're gonna show you uh, our thoughts on it. So excited to have this fun guy right here. Let's, um, let's cut this bad boy open and see what we're working with here. So this is controlled by your smartphone. There is a controller. Okay. So the first thing I'm excited about is there, it looks like there's not a not a ton of uh, assembly required. Maybe just a little. Got our controller here. It's your phone going to connect the top here. There might be an extra piece that goes here. Does need batteries, so we'll have to get some batteries. Have our drone piece, our top part, and our wheels can be added on. Four wheels. They don't make it easy to get it out, so it is what it is. Right. Got our wheels and our, our motorized piece and some backup wings in case those break. You know, with drones, that tends to happen very often. And some basic assembly required, but we're gonna get this thing set up and have be having fun with it in no time. Got our instructions here, not too thick. And some other flying instructions as well. Gotta have that. So let's go ahead and set this thing up and let's have some fun, all right? All right guys, so here is the drone set up. Now out of the box, it will come set and ready uh, as a drone and you can use the tools in the box to convert it to the car, but uh, all the uh, propeller airplane pieces are already connected and on. Uh, the main things you will have to do out of the box are basically um, grab the, the USB and you're gonna plug in the battery. And basically you can charge this either on the wall or you can charge it in your computer. Really easy, just plug that into a USB. You're gonna charge that up first. And then on the bottom here, you will need to connect um, the uh, battery. So literally just, you take this out and you plug in the uh, battery part that's a cord in here and um, that will basically give it power. And then there is an, an, a camera adapter that you plug in. This is really cool because when you're flying it or driving it, you can also see out of the camera as well. So it's another one, another one of the really cool things you can do with this drone. Um, to put it in camera mode, or excuse me, to put it in the, the drone flying mode, you will need to go ahead and hit this up and that will um, get into drone mode. And when you convert to the car, you'll basically wanna push this switch the opposite direction going this way. So let's go ahead and set it up and just gonna show you what it looks like. And then we will switch over to the car and show you the car stuff. So um, you will get in the box a controller that you can just go ahead and pop your phone on just like this. Now, the controller is cool. I really just used the controller instead. And what you're gonna need to do is connect your smartphone to um, the Wi-Fi network. So this is actually gonna create its own Wi-Fi connection. And it's gonna start with a Z. So it's a quick, oh, here we go. It's a swipe down. You're gonna go to your Wi-Fi and look for um, a network that starts with a ZZ. Let me go ahead and clean this up so you guys can read it here. 
So it's creating a bunch right now, but basically just find one of the ones that starts with ZZ and you're gonna go ahead and connect to that network. And then you will need to go to the Play Store and download the app ZZ Games right here. This is the app that's gonna allow you to fly it from your phone basically. Um, in the experience of playing around with it, I've always used just the VGA because it seemed like it connected faster. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that. And what you're seeing right here is you're seeing right out of the camera on the drone here. So as I move it, you can see the camera is picking up and we can see it right out of our drone here. And we're basically, this part's a little tricky. You do have to kind of go through the instructions, but you just kind of pull these down to the corners first a couple of times to make sure you're connected and then we're going to just put our fingers on both and round it and there it is and now our drone is ready to take off all right guys a snap of my fingers and here we have the car version and the car version is really cool the app connections are all the same you still have the camera and you still are able to control it uh, right here you're able to do all kind of cool flips and um, it's really cool just driving it around and being able to see out of the camera even if you drive it into another room or a different area so definitely really unique you don't see a lot of cars that have a camera on them and it's just really cool you can really get it up to really fast speeds and it does these little tricks and it'll like jump and like spin around and all that good stuff so anyway guys this has been our review and um, this is a really, really awesome uh, car slash drone. It is available on Amazon. We'll have the link in the description. Definitely go and check it out. It's a great price. It's under a hundred bucks and it does so much for the price. So um, hope you guys did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.